internal table the we should be master in internal table any question related with internal internal table if it comes because this is the heart of whole abap internal table is the heart of whole abap this is the fundamentals of abap program if you know internal table well your more than 50% of journey is over okay internal table there are three types of internal table a standard internal table sorted internal table and hashed internal table you can see here suitable for 100 records by default it performs sequential search right if you have the standard internal table you can use more than 100 records but the work around you will have to follow see here so you can use more than 100 records but suppose if you want to you know search some records so what we do generally right if you have generally what we do for the standard internal table we just sort it and we use the bandy search because that is the main culprit where it comes into the picture when we have to search some record right so for that purpose we sort that internal table and then we use the bandy search edition right and that's why this is the more a standard internal table is a very very flexible internal table very much flexible okay whatever you want in whatever way you want you can customize it you can use it right you can sort it you can take a copy of this so it's very easy to use actually however the sorted internal table and hashed internal table is also having its own significance and if you are good in its concept and if you are good in how to use this one then in your development you can use it effectively and you can take the advantage of the sorted internal table and hashed internal table that's why in a standard development you might have observed that many a places sorted internal table have been used and hashed internal table generally have been used in ba or bw project so any question if you have please ask or please mute from your side okay. okay i've muted him so now here you can see that a standard internal table sorted internal table and hashed internal table there are three types of internal table so let's try to understand a little about all these things however these are very big topics okay so a standard internal table here just we understood let's try to understand about the sorted internal table so when you define the sorted internal table okay and when you put the records inside the sorted internal table what will happen that all the records in the in, uh, all the records in the sorted internal table will automatically be sorted okay you don't have to write a sort query over there how it is going to be sorted based upon the key defined in the sorted internal table okay we will see the definition over here how we can define it over here here we have i have written it over here okay so that's the sorted internal table here let's have a read over here by default data in the internal table will be sorted that's fine this data gets sorted based on the key based on the primary key right this you will have to specify correct here you can't use append this is wrong you can use the append this statement is not correct let me correct it just a second we can use the append statement there is no problem but we have to be careful otherwise it will go into dump okay you can use append you can use append <clears throat> but because append will always append at last so if you record suppose you have you know you have the record like this okay you have one to some employee ID three, four, five is there, right? So if you want to append employee ID six, then it will be perfectly, you know, append at correct place, right? But suppose if you want to append two, right? So it will try to go and append at last. And because it is a sorted internal table, it will go into dump because this two is not at the correct place, right? You have to, you know append the two here 
but you cannot use the append statement to append the two here you have to use the insert statement okay so you have to tell insert two at index three at index three so your two will come over here two will come over here okay and then it will work fine it will not go go into dump okay so that's what i'm trying to make you understand you can use append but your data should be you know correct should be should be you know or should be follow the sorting should follow the sorting should follow the sorting criteria so what i'm trying to tell hope you understand over here maybe i'm not able to write it perfectly over here you can use append but your data should follow the sorting criteria i think it's fine okay this is fine so let me make it little small yeah and now the third one here here it will support insert operation that's fine append also it will support insert also it will support while searching you don't have to tell explicitly to use the bandy search it will implicitly use the bandy search so if you are going to use the read statement or the sorted internal table implicitly it will use always the bandy search you don't have to bother about <coughs> but of course the in the where condition right we write now read table with key then we give the field name equals the field one uh, the value and all so that field should be the part of your key which you have defined for the sorted internal table right has internal table has key gets determined based on the defined key of the internal table right key will be always unique and here the searching time will be the independent of number of records so not matter how many number of records you have in a hashed internal table right it's going to create a hash key okay and that's why the searching is independent of number of records but the problem over here it does not support the you know append and all those things append insert it does not support okay so but but read is uh, read operation it support it supports the read operation you can read and the read is going to be very very fast if you have if you compare with this standard internal table and sorted internal table in case you have a huge amount of data okay not simply suppose if you have 10 records or 20 records in that case these are going to give you the better performance right if you have the 100 200 record don't go for this hashed internal table however we rarely use this hashed internal table but in bi and bw you know there are so many huge data right so there it is used very frequently this hashed internal table if they are going to use this one you know the performance will be very big issue but here you know this has internal table there is going to help a lot <clears throat>